Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Jax decided he wanted to help film this video, so hopefully he'll sit down. But anyways, today I'm going to share with you guys some sales from the month of September. I can't believe October is here and like we're already almost halfway through October. Um, also, I know this video is a little bit late, but um, I really wanted to get it done before Poshfest and that just didn't happen. Those few days <laughs> right before were a little insane. But anyways, I'm here now to share with you guys. So I have, I took screenshots on my phone and I wrote everything down. So if I'm like looking down, just ignore that. But okay, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to insert little screenshots. Actually, they're going to be right here. Um, so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So the first item is this dress from Talbot's and this is why I love picking up Talbot's when it's on sale at um, Salvation Army. So this was plus size, it was size 22 and it sold, I think this sold pretty quickly, like in about a week. And it sold for $25 plus $6.99 shipping. So I know a lot of people wouldn't pick up Talbot's. If you sell only on Poshmark, I probably wouldn't pick it up. But um, if you do sell on eBay, it does really well for me on eBay. So that's the first one. This next item, it wasn't like a great sale. I'm only showing it because this is why I stopped doing free shipping. So um, I have this listed for $29.99 with free shipping, no best offer. That was already too low. Like there really wasn't any room in there for me to run a sale, but I did end up doing, oh no, I didn't run a sale. I did offers to watchers on um, eBay for like 15% off and so they accepted the offer. It sold for $25.49 with free shipping which is really low. <laughs> it probably should have sold for like 30 plus shipping. So anyways, I'm not doing free shipping anymore. I, I know I talked about this in a video after eBay opened. I talked about some changes I was making. Free shipping was one of them. I stopped it because I price items too low and then I don't have room to send offers to watchers or to run a sale or anything. So I just stop doing that. Okay, next are these J brand skinny jeans and these were a strange sale and maybe one of you guys will have some insight but I have these listed for 34 Now typically I will price J brand jeans like 35 to 40, 45 sometimes. So um, I listed these for 34 because they were a little bit faded and I included that information in, this, in the description. But I got a best offer for 35 and it was from Canada. And I know that global shipping program to Canada can be quite expensive. So I'm kind of confused as to why they would offer more than the listing price. But I accepted it and they paid right away and there hasn't been any issues. So yeah, I don't know about that. But $35 plus $5.99 shipping. Next is this Everlane tank top. And this is the first Everlane piece I had ever found. I was really excited because it was kind of like on my bolo list. Um, but anyways, I had this listed for I think 35 and I took a best offer of 25, which I feel like is a little low. Like I probably wanted to get closer to 28 or 30 for it. But lately I've just been taking the offer because that was still a good offer and you know, I get it out of my house and I make some money and it's a win-win situation. But anyways, $25 plus $4.99 shipping and this sold I think in just a few days. And then next, these are Lucky Brand Vintage Sweatpants. I would have never picked these up, but um, Alyssa Thrifts posted them on her Insta story. She did a haul and she had a pair of Vintage Lucky Brand Sweatpants in there. And she said that they, you know, did really well on eBay. So. When I found them in Salvation Army, um, I'm really glad I watched her haul because I would have never picked them up. These sold the same day. I listed them in the afternoon and I got a best offer that evening. So I listed them for 70 and I got a best offer for 50, which I took right away because I only paid a dollar for them. So I definitely could have countered like 60 or something but I just went ahead and took the offer because that was still a great flip okay next is this cloth and stone uh, plaid top I love selling cloth and stone um, so this was pretty basic or pretty standard I listed it for 29 I think some somewhere in there and I accepted a best offer of 22 plus 499 shipping 
Next is um, Bella Doll, another brand I love to find and I don't find it very often. Um, just this plaid top size large, it was on sale 15% off, so I listed it for 35, but it was marked down to 29.75, and it, that was a full price sale. And then next is this mod cloth skirt. I this is only the second time I have ever sold mod cloth, and it's actually the first time I ever found it because the second time or the first time I got it was in that bulk buy and that item also sold really fast so this one sold I think same day and I listed it for 35 and I accepted best offer for 25 again I paid like a dollar for it so um, I was really happy with that and then next uh, DL 1961 skinny jeans. I love finding this brand because they typically sell, they typically go for about $40. This one I listed at $50 expecting to take a best offer, but they sold for the full price of $50, which was awesome. Next, this was another full price sale, and I was so excited when I found these because I know these always go really fast. Cabby skirted leggings, always pick them up whenever you see them. So this sold, it sold, it took maybe three days to sell. $40 plus $4.99 shipping. Next was this Eloise um, pleated tank top. It was really gorgeous, like just very feminine. I love this. And this wasn't like an amazing flip, obviously, $23, but I had this listed for $22.99 free shipping and when I decided I didn't like free shipping anymore I changed it to um, 23 plus 4.99 shipping and that's what it sold for the full price so they ended up paying a total of 28.99 when I only had it listed for 22.99 so this is why I'm not doing free shipping anymore I make more money when I don't so um okay next so I picked up two of these Athleta um, little skorts. This one sold right away, um, listed for $30, and then it was on sale for 13% off, and then I accepted the best offer of $23. Um, this one sold right away the same day, and I remember this one went um, global shipping program. I don't know what country it went to, but it did go out of the country. And then the other one that I got was tan. That one didn't sell until like one of the first couple days in September. So that one I didn't include, but this one did sell in September. Anyways, okay, next. This J. Crew linen top was gorgeous, and when I found it in the store, um, and I, whenever I find J. Crew in the store, I always check the little tag on the side that has a date on it. And it was from summer 2019, so I looked it up. It was still on the J. Crew website for $109. So, um, of course, I brought it home with me. I listed it for $40. There were no comps. I mean, I don't know how things like that end up in the thrift store, like when they're so fresh. But anyways, um, I listed it for $40, and I accepted a best offer of $30. Um, and then, okay, that was everything on eBay, so let's move on to Poshmark sales. Okay, first are these Free People New Romantic, New Romantics harem pants, and that, this is the only time I've ever found the New Romantics line from Free People. I was kind of excited to find it, but then it took me forever to list these because I, I could not figure out like keywords to use. I learned what harem pants are through listing these. But anyways, um, these did not do as well as I thought they would. Um, they sold for $25 um, on best offer. Next was this cause, is that how you say it? COS cause cardigan. Um, I was really excited to find this because that was the first time I've ever found this brand. This did take a few weeks to sell, um, and I think I had a list for 40 and I accepted a best offer of 30 on this one. This next one is a full price sale. So these are Abercrombie & Fitch men's jeans. I don't typically sell men's clothing, but I feel like I say this in every video. I do pick them up if they are in the women's section and they're like good so I paid a dollar for these and um, typically Abercrombie sells around twenty dollars so I listed these for twenty seven expecting to take a best offer but um, it was a full price sale which was really awesome next are these oh no this J. Crew leopard uh, pencil skirt Everything Leopard I feel like I'm picking up now because it is selling really fast for me. So these sold offer to Likers of $24. So I did have to eat a little bit of the shipping cost on that. But um, again, this was an item I paid a dollar for. 
Next are these Hudson tuxedo stripe jeans and I loved these, the black with the pink stripe. If they were my size I would have kept them but I, I thought they were going to sell so much faster than they did. I remember I thrifted these like right when I moved to Grand Rapids in January. So these sat for a really long time. I had them, I had them listed for $60. Um, and I ended up taking a best offer of 35 so I still made, you know, a decent profit, but it took a long time. <laughs> so, anyways, okay. Next are these American Eagle skinny jeans. I love selling American Eagle jeans. Um, these sold for 23 on best offer, I believe. It could have been offers to Likers, I'm not sure which one. Um, but anyways, I think, I probably have these listed for about 29 and then last but not least, another item from Cabby. So these are the cargo or the drifter cargo skinny pants. And yeah, I picked these up for a dollar. I had them, I think, listed for 40 and accepted a best offer of 30. So that is everything I have to share with you guys for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.